The power of art thrives throughout the Niagara region, and with the Pelham Art Festival approaching its 30th year, it is a perfect way to celebrate art, but also mothers as well. The festival is running Mother's Day weekend, showcasing many different mediums of artwork with a show and sale, as well as great entertainment that the whole family will love. Oh, it becomes a family affair, right? Um, a lot of children bring their mothers and, uh, and, and vice versa. And this year we have a brunch, which is an added feature, an added bonus. And uh, it, it's, it's just wonderful. It's family and uh, there are activities for kids. I mean, we like to um, promote the art at various ages, right? And, and so it's, um, it's great to have the kids involved and the moms come. It, it's a lovely family event for a great community and a great cause. Focusing his attention to precision and fine detail is Philip Brazo, who is representing new artists at this year's festival with his hyperrealism drawings. The ambition with hyperrealism is to make the uh, illustration as close to photographic as possible. Um, for me, I love working the details, so most of the work that I do is, is brought in fairly close to the subject, uh, where I can see the detail and bring that forward. And, Ideally, I intrigue people and kind of evoke an emotion, especially with the subject size. Beverly Sneath is one of the festival's most successful vendors as she specializes in over five different mediums of art, from silk paintings to bronze sculpture. Definitely watercolor is my favorite for flowers, and I also like it for portraits, although I have done portraits in oils and acrylics as well. And for acrylic painting, um, my, is my favorite medium for landscapes, I think, and probably horses and animals, too. Renowned author and outstanding watercolor artist Linda Kemp is returning to the festival after eight years. I've been participating in the event over a number of years, and I think I was in probably the second or third year that they had this event. So it's kind of fun to come full circle and see the changes and see some people who have been there, a, a, a standard fixture for so long, and then to come back and, and see new faces and see people in the community coming out and supporting the event. It's, it's very exciting. The Pelham Library has been the main beneficiary of this festival, receiving over $400,000 throughout the years. It's a fabulous event. We're, we're really happy with the support uh, that we get from the Pelham Art Festival. Uh, 30 years, uh, they've provided <laughs> multiple thousands of dollars for the library to support our needs here. Um, their funds have helped us buy new furnishings in, in the, the front uh, public area, uh, computers, uh, they'll be helping out, uh, the funds will be used to help out with some of the new needs when, when we build um, our new Maple Acre branch uh, later on this year. Uh, so we're excited about that. This year, as always, it's at the Pelham Arena, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, May 6th, 7th and 8th, at, um, from 10 to 5 on Saturday and Sunday, and from 7 to 10 on Friday night, which is our gala event. So a bit of a dressier affair. Uh, there will be hors d'oeuvres and refreshments, a wine cart going around, and it just gives a little special, special bling to the whole festival as we kick it off. For tickets and more information about the 30th annual Pelham Art Festival, visit pelhamartfestival.com. Reporting for The Source, I'm Leah Schumann.